Hey guys, I'm Claire. Welcome back to Bally Mullen Farm. I'm in the garden again today. I'm just going to be pottering around doing a few jobs. Um, I want to start some more seeds and maybe get some weeds pulled and just a few things tidied up. So Lance and I are really, really aiming to try and make um, more or be more consistent with our videos. Um, we, yeah, we are, we're aiming to get like three out a week. Um, we are just really loving it, loving the connections that we're making with people, um, you know, about the our regenerative farm, farming journey. So um, if you're new here, we are a small dairy farm in Taranaki, New Zealand. Um, we've kind of been, we've kind of been on our regenerative journey for a little while. So um, <laughs> just trying to be more sustainable in general with our farming um this year is the first year we're kind of really jumping into it with getting in more multi-species pastures using um organic fertilizers um and you're just trying to um build our soil and manage our systems in like a more regenerative way and a more sustainable way we also have been growing our own food in our home veggie garden for about, oh, I think this is like our fifth or sixth year. So every year we've just kind of progressively grown. We also um, grow a large potato crop for um, market, which we sell from a lo um, in our local town uh, and also from our gate. Yes, yeah, so that is us. We're also going to be using our home garden a little bit more this year to be trying to provide some like cherry tomatoes and, and other kind of spare produce that we have um, at a little stall that we're going to make at our farm gate, which is really exciting. So if that is your jam, it is our jam too. Um, we're not experts, we are just um, kind of diving in and loving what we're doing. So yeah, anyway, if that is your, um, <laughs> keep saying if that's your jam. If that's your jam, come hang out with us. Um, we really love the idea of being like a New Zealand kind of channel for any other Kiwis out there but also if you're not from New Zealand we love um, hanging out with you too so we would really love it if you would leave us comments um, interact with us either on our um, Instagram or our YouTube channel it is amazing um, and it's really encouraging when we hear um, you know your lovely comments and things like that so we're really loving it uh, so the first job I'm just going to do is go and check for eggs. Um, we have got one or multiple naughty chickens that have started eating eggs, um, which is our fault because we were just chucking the eggshells into the um, scrap bucket that we feed to the chickens. We're not doing that now. We've kind of learned our lesson. <laughs> it's one of those things that like everybody tells you don't do that and it's not until you actually do it yourself that you're like okay don't do that. So we've got some wooden eggs that we've just popped in there and they're working really really well as well as just coming in and checking for eggs like a few times a day just making sure they're not sitting in the nesting boxes for too long. Uh, so that's been working really, really well for us. Hey chickens! But anyway, I'm just going to um, see what eggs we have. So I only got two this time, but that's all good. It's exciting because um, our Rhode Island Red Hen was just in there. Um, and she's about to lay an egg. So, um, I didn't know she was lying yet, so that's really exciting. So 
So I was talking with Lance this morning and it was really annoying because, not Lance, but the thing that I was talking to him about, because, um, like, phones are awful and I keep seeing, like, uh, on my reels or whatever on Instagram or Facebook, like, tons of stuff about, like, nutrition and poor foods and all that kind of stuff and it's, like, way too overwhelming and, like, really, really stressful when you are in a situation, especially I feel like, um, I don't feel like in New Zealand we have really good access to um, organic food and also I don't feel like organic food is like the perfect, um, you know, be all and end all because um, I guess in comparison to food that you're growing in your garden, like we put absolutely nothing on our food that we grow in our garden it's like so overwhelming um to hear you know like i was buying groceries and i don't even want to buy like broccoli and cauliflower because i know how much stuff is sprayed on them it's really hard knowing that and then having to like consume food and we can't afford to buy organic food so we grow our own food although i'm not very consistent growing year round so we have a really good spring some summer garden and then we preserve lots of food but we still buy food veggies from the supermarket and things like that fruit and fruit especially um so most of our fruit comes from the supermarket um so yeah it's really really annoying seeing all these things about how bad your food is and how bad the food system is but you still have to go to the supermarket and buy food. You know, we don't eat a ton of processed food, but we still eat some. Um, and we've always kind of had the idea that, you know, as long as you are not just eating processed food, that it'll be right, you know. Um, so yeah, it's like so frustrating. I just wanted to like get rid of my Facebook and, um, Instagram and stuff because it's just really really infuriating just seeing that stuff all the time um, And it's like not good for you because then you worry and stress and I really don't think it's worth worrying about like I feel like if you're trying your best to um, You know avoid the really bad stuff Then you're gonna be all right So yeah, I guess if I'm looking at the flip side of being really annoyed about seeing all that stuff um, the good things that have come out of it is that it made me really um, like yes I want to grow my food all year round try and grow you know we can we're in a very mild climate so we can grow all through the year um, keep up with the preserving like it's worth it it's awesome and then also like saving seeds so um, I saved a lot more seeds than I thought last year so in my last video I said I ran out of quite a few seeds um, but I did oopsies I got that wet but I did save them so that was our favorite cherry one which was the sweetheart um, I also saved ox heart yellow Roma and um, this is the one of the ones that were was our favorite one so yeah I did save some seeds I could save a lot more yeah I guess like taking that that negative and turning it into a positive that even though it's really you know it can be really stressful to see all that stuff I feel like I've got a spider on me um to flip it around and look at the positives so anyway that's my little rant for the day the spider on me but little I knew there was I could feel it outside little guy I'm not surprised because I've been in the the greenhouse I haven't been in the greenhouse and it is full of spiderwebs. So anyway, I'm just going to carry on with my um, soil blocking and seed starting. Today I'm just going to try and get as much done until Lance needs some help. So um, I've got those two tomatoes. Where are they? So I've got, I wanted to do um, that one, this is Sweetheart Tomato, I called it our favorite cherry tomato as well as that one that's Neil's tomato which was the big like Italian kind of beefsteak one which will be cool um then I also want to just do some things like um kale and 
all those kind of like early spring things so I'll do kale and spinach and silver beet um, and I want to get my onions started what else do I want to do Uh, probably some broccoli and cauliflower so I have some broccoli and cauliflower that self seeded in the garden but it is it's like crossed and it's all like mealy and gross so that's a bit of a pity but I feel like the chickens will eat that so that's okay I want to get some peas started because every time I start peas direct sowing they just don't do very well they get to about that high and they just get eaten so i thought if i could put them or they they don't even get to that high they just get eaten right as they start coming up so i thought if i could start them a bit stronger um then they will do a bit better but yeah all that kind of stuff broccoli whatever i have in here i want to celery yeah just get it started so I just realized that I've taken all of my other tomatoes inside and I don't really want tomatoes on this tray because I'm gonna leave it in the greenhouse but I already started them so I have put them I've slid them onto this piece of paper and I'm hoping I can carry this home and then slide it onto the tray that I have at home it's on a heated so it's on our heated floor at home um, and yeah hopefully I can transport it that way it did like kind of smoosh together a little bit so I'm hoping it's gonna be okay but I'm gonna just do that now um, and then I think I heard lights with the tractor so it may be time to go on the farm and then come back later and finish what I'm doing so wish me luck with this I'm just gonna try and put that onto a bit of cardboard so it's a bit sturdier I go. Oh, it's blowing around a little. is just a bit of a random video of what we are up to today so <laughs> apologies for that but yeah we're like I said we're trying to be a little bit more consistent with our um, putting our vlogs out and things like that You're going to be about Bernard. <laughs>
Timmy? cows um the thing we like most about that is i have got my son behind the other side of the camera trying to make me laugh um we love having a small number so we can come out together as a family and do stuff uh so it's just lance and i we don't have any staff um so it's a really cool family environment um we are about i think we're close to having a hundred in now so um, that is really cool. Today is a really easy small day for us. I think we've only had about four or five cows calve overnight. Um, we're just gonna leave a couple of them in the paddock because they're just brand new. And yeah, we will, um, I think we've only got a couple cow calves to bring in. Um, so it's gonna be a really nice, quick, easy day. Oh, just we've got the calves so we're just gonna draft the cows out of the paddock now so I'm just standing in the gap Lance is gonna go and find them in the herd and then we'll draft them out to take home and put into the classroom mob Where do you find it? Oh, it just ran past me on the grass. So little baby here is just loving the ground on the in the grass, in the long grass. So its mum will be around somewhere. Aww, yeah. What if somebody a cow stepped on it? Yeah, well, they're pretty good at getting out of the way of cows. Show little really... teeth on them. Hey. hey. Bring it now. Nah, I don't want to bring it home. It's... No, we will leave it. It lives in the wild. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Bye, bye, little guy. Bye. bye. See you, buddy. <laughs> Try not to get stepped on. makes me laugh so currently I'm standing in the gap which is the gateway or um, you know when you wind the reel up a little bit well um, Lance is out there busy drafting the cows out my job is to make sure cows don't get out of the paddock or back into the paddock so it's always makes me laugh that um, my job is just <laughs> standing in a gap so I'm actually just gonna walk down to the calf shed as well because the um, we sent the little kids down to the calf shed because the cows they were um, they were just being a little bit noisy and the cows didn't want to come out of the paddock so they've just walked out over to the calf shed so I'm just going to go and collect them and see what they're up to uh, and then we're going to probably head home for a coffee or something like that. Feed them later. My mum or having all the ones in the second. Hi guys. Hello. Let's get them. My mum having all having all the ones in 
the first pen. Oh. <coughs> Hi guys. I'm having one of the second. Hi. <coughs> we got any names yet? Uh, yes. I and but if I already know what the hiding tower is going to be, your hiding tower. So the cow shed is just a new setup for us this year and we're loving it so much. Um, it's just really cool like seeing the calves every day so um, it's just in our hay barn. Um, if I turn you around, no, uh, we might be a bit too far away but kind of where those big trees are here is um, where our um, cow shed is. So it's quite central on the farm which is really cool because we're seeing them every day as opposed to like being just away in a shed. Our other shed was also quite um, dark and dingy and quite small so they've got so much space here. It's really really nice for them. Um, it's also awesome because we're getting a lot of steps in so lots of often um, drive the tractor down here with the milk and the transport tray um, and he'll carry on and then I'll just walk home uh, with the kids or if they've come to help for the day so it's really really cool um, so yeah something we're just a little bit more conscious of is that um, I don't know the word for it but um, having an active lifestyle I suppose and putting things not at easy access um, which is really cool because you know it makes you we find that with our pantry um, our pantry is out um, behind our garage so we're doing lots and lots of walking to get the things that we need and same with this we're just finding that it's really cool because we're doing lots of walking um, to get out and about out here which is awesome um, but anyway I think that is all we're just gonna walk home now we will probably there's no milk in there I'm sorry We'll have to do it soon. We're really, really close to running out of battery, so I'm going to sign off. We're going to walk home, and then, um, yeah, we'll... Oh, how else are we going to get home? And then, yeah, we're going to probably have a coffee or something like that, and then um, carry on with our work. Okay, ready? Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya! Say bye! Say bye. Bye bye.